episode I'll try to show you all the work that has been done on the deck since the beginning it's quite a lot I'll try to synthesize it but it's over a long period of time so I hope you guys enjoy it so this is one of the other large projects I had to do um, all the all the boat was uh, sided by these pieces of wood but before it was like one long piece of wood all alongside both sides of the boat and the problem with that is that the wood was getting uh, rod, the water was getting stuck because it was only one piece and it was ending getting in the boat which was making problem of water inside the deck and inside the boat in general. So um, what I've done is like removing completely the, this wood which was uh, all along. I go toujours la dernière qui fait chier. And I kind of use this uh, this same like long piece of wood to cut it into smaller parts, roughen up the, the edge, and uh, I'm replacing it, pasting it with um, epoxy uh, fitting. So I'm pasting it, putting back the screws, the different parts, so to make sure that it's strong enough mechanically and uh, after this I'm putting some fiberglass on and in the end it looks like this we so one of the problems I had with the boat uh, since I have it is that the, um, the deck was really soft because it's built uh, in a like sandwich with wood and fiberglass above and below and this uh, this wood, the uh, balsa wood, <coughs> when it gets uh, uh, wet with uh, salt water, kind of dissolves, it becomes a dust and, and the two layers of fiberglass are not uh, sustained, and then it becomes soft and this is not really uh, nice to walk on something like this, it feels a bit like weak. So, to fix it you have two solutions, one which is really painful is taking all the, the first part of the skin, fill it again with foam or something and put fiberglass everywhere again and this is really difficult. What I've been doing is um, just make small uh, holes into the, the first uh, layer, into the first skin and it injects some uh, resin into in between the two layers to inject some uh, kind of uh, an epoxy that is making kind of a foam, expensive foam and um, so it's a bit more expensive than polyurethane but in the end uh, the result is, is really good so right now um, what I'm, I'm almost, almost done it on all the deck but I wanted to show you so I'm using this thing to uh, drill um, the deck and after I inject it, I inject the, the resin so it's a bit strange at the beginning to to make holes in your boat but then you get used to it let me show you
turned out that this solution was really good and I really recommend it if you have problem with your deck. So now I'm working on the handrail at the back of the boat. Um, before it was the handrail was looking like this, more or less, like this with three points to go to the deck. I cut it here, so I used the, the, the plate to weld it here. And now I have two more plates that go in the deck. My main objective is to stop having water leaks in the boat. That was the case when I got the boat and when I sailed with it before. And this was because the handrail was going directly through the deck and with a bolt under it. And of course the handrail is always something you're grabbing so it's moving um, and there's always water leak there. So the solution I found is to build these uh, small pods which are plywood, uh, marine plywood, in which I'm putting four screws that are going up through this. Uh, in order to be able to remove the, um, the end rail if I need it and two screws that are going through as well and that are going inside the deck and under the deck I have two bolts uh, going. The difference here is that this piece of uh, plywood I'm going to stick it to the deck with uh, epoxy putty so it will be completely waterproof the pond which is going through the deck will be waterproof and then these these screws that are um, tightening the handrail to the plywood um, will be won't go through the deck so if there is movement the movement will be here and there won't be water leak I hope so at least but uh, I think now I'm fine I'm just going to put some uh, epoxy putty and put them in place let leave them dry and after paint it Bon, maman, explique-nous qu'est-ce qu'on était en train de faire, là. Bien, c'est ça, c'est Est-ce que tu les appelles comment Des emballes, des pieds de chandelier Ouais. Et alors après, qu'est-ce que c'est la prochaine étape ouais, c'est demain, on va les ah, fixer... Ah, pour ce soir, euh... c'est tout, là. On ouais. peut pas aller plus loin. Ouais. Non, là, on va les laisser sécher. discover new limits. I thought the hardest part would be like the sending of the hull below and above the waterline, but no, to the deck. Deck is fucking horrible. Sorry. It's been like several days. Every day I think like okay it's the last day of sending. But no, I got some help, people came and helped me sending, but there is always more, every little corner, every <sighs> so not easy part. Maybe tomorrow I'll finish. I don't know, but uh, it's yeah, it's a huge delay in my in my program. I, I never saw that this would be so uh, so long. But uh, yeah, I never saw that this would be so long. Just for you to have an idea, this is all the, <coughs> the tools that I'm using to send the deck because there is like so many corners like these are place that you cannot reach like this so yeah I'm just switching to one tool to another and doing like full day 12 hours non-stop sending and it's really painful now I need to finish the, the cockpit and the two sides 
But yeah, it's, uh, it's not easy, it's not easy. I'm really looking forward uh, for this to be finished. That's it, the deck is ready for the paint. So hopefully I put the first layer uh, this afternoon, this would, this would be great. There is a bit of wind, but should not be a, too much of a problem. So I'm going to show you this. Now I got everything ready for the application of the paint. I got uh, the brush, two types to go in the corners. Got this thing to mix this. Got the, the bag for the paint. And the paint is here and here. It's a uh, epoxy paint, so two components that you mix and you start hardening. I'm going to do small batches so it doesn't get too uh, dry too soon, too fast. the deck is painted it's about mounting back everything because to paint the deck I had removed every screws every single bolt that was uh, on the deck was removed to be able to sand it properly and to paint it so now it's about putting everything back right now I'm putting this thing back which is the, the door uh, on the roof but any any type of uh, equipment these things every plate uh, has to be put back so and properly so there is no water leak uh, inside uh, inside after once we, we navigate so it's a bit long but it's it's a cool process it's about like rebuilding everything so that's cool So while mounting all the new deck elements, I'm going to use a new product. All the deck elements were mounted with uh, flex, which is kind of a glue which is sticking really hard. It's really good but it's really annoying to, to put. You always have like some that is sticking to your finger and then to the deck and then somewhere else. So I'm going to try to use this um, butyl tape. It's kind of um, a dry seal that you can kind of use as a, as a paste and put where you want and it has the advantage not to stick too hard so it will kind of create the, this waterproof barrier instead of sticking too much so it's easy to, de to dismount if you need it and normally it seals really well so yeah it's kind of a it's an easy process to, to, to put so I'm going to show you how this is and this, uh, this weekend I'm having like lots of friends that are coming to help me to uh, to mount all these uh, new elements. the end of June and as you might have noticed I'm still on the shipyard I was supposed I wanted to uh, leave around mid June to sail to Greece and work there having my boat around but obviously the refit is taking longer than planned uh, no big deal I need a bit of extra cash I also need a break from the shipyard I've been working like full-time for more than three months now it's really exhausting so no problem all the exterior of the boat is finished i'll be back at the end of july and hopefully put the boat in the water around mid-august something like this so now as i'm leaving for a month i'm going to take all the top uh, down and uh, try to make everything neat so there is no water leak while uh, i'm away there is still a couple of 
stuff that are not uh, sealed. So, yeah, no big deal. One month working in Greece is going to be a big relief. I'll keep material uh, coming on YouTube because I have lots of footage that I, I did not have time to edit. So I'll do this and, and keep posting video videos uh, while I'm away and back here on the shipyard in July. Keep you posted. We're going out on our first date. You and me are thirsty, so go all you can eat Fill up your bag and I fill up the plate We talk for hours and hours about the sweet and the sour And how your family is doing okay And leaving me in the taxi And kissing the backseat Tell the driver make the radio play And I'm sick of that Alors t'en penses quoi niveau euh, température Franchement, euh, la bière blanche Juste la bière blanche <rire> Juste que je retiendrai de cette journée Sinon c'est chiant <rire> I don't have any kids, but that's how I imagine it is to leave your kid for holiday. It's now all packed and nice, but who knows what can happen to him while I'm away. We'll see. You work it, no diggity You got to bag it, bag it up 